Hey guys, what's going on? It is Kiwi, and today's tutorial is going to be a bit different, as you can see from my shaky camera skills. You can clearly tell I did not do so well in TV production in the camera location area. I did fine, and yeah, let's just move on, because this could take forever. Okay, basically, as you can see, I have a Kimbo, I mean, dual monitors. And basically, if you don't know what dual monitors do, they let you do cool things like have a window open over here, over here, and then have something else. My oh, We're going to have my recycle bin over here for whatever reason. And you can see, you know, two monitors. I can freely move my windows back and forth. And yeah, that's it. So basically, we are going to learn how to set them up and if my camera just randomly goes off to the side because I don't realize what I'm doing I apologize I'll try to do that as little as possible now basically we can go over here and see not only my statue of cod fanboy stuff here now you have your computer tower and I really should have cleaned up before I did this but you have your computer tower and you have to have a graphics card with two in output locations. For me, I'm using a DVI to my 20-inch monitor and a VGA to my, what I'm going to assume is 15-inch monitor since it says VS15 on the front of it. Alright, anyway, basically take two cables and run them to the input for the two monitors if you can figure out what I'm doing and understand and have them both connected at the same time like so and then have the power cables go into your power strip or whatever you use and then once you have that all set up and they're both connected and if I wanted to I could have actually used my onboard graphics card down there the thing, the plug-in, but I'm just using both on my NVIDIA thing, because NVIDIA is best. Alright, so now once you have them configured, turn them both on, and start up your computer. And then Windows will detect one and choose whichever one it thinks is your primary, and from there we're going to have to set it up. Mine are already set up, but I'll walk you through how to set them up and what to do to set them up. So now we're going to switch from my incredibly shaky camera to the computer, so I will see you there and hope this tutorial goes smoothly. Okay guys, what's going on? We are now on my computer screen as usual. Sorry I had to change it up to do this properly. It was, it was a bit hard to do it right. Alright, so now you should have your two monitors hooked up. And now either your secondary monitor, which mine is smaller, or your primary monitor will be displaying stuff. So if you're on Windows 7, right click and hit screen resolution, I think. But we will go through the control panel, go to adjust screen resolution, and you'll now be at a screen like this. Let me see if I can make this stuff bigger. Uh, I guess not. We'll get to see my lovely backgrounds change in the back. Alright, now, I have my primary monitor, which is 1, and my secondary monitor, which is 2. You're going to want to adjust them to their highest resolution. They may, when you first plug both of them in, be at a small resolution. So put them both up to their native resolution. My secondary monitor is 1024 by 768 and my primary monitor is 1600 by 900 so now make sure they're both set to landscape or if you have them on their sides for whatever reason portrait set them up to the orientation that fixes fits you now what you want to do is under the multiple display option choose extend these displays so that it smoothly makes your taskbar go across the bottom of the one and then you can freely move your mouse and window in and out. You can't see on my second monitor but that window is going onto it. Now, 
you can duplicate these displays and it will make them both the same but that would be just silly to do so we're gonna extend these displays that's the best option now what you want to do is hit identify and it will show a big number like so I hope you can see it I don't know if it'll show since the Windows function and then you'll get the number go to advanced settings and find the monitor and make sure it is set to 32-bit and hit apply and OK if you had to change anything and then you should be good to go if your monitors are for some reason switched like you can't drag stuff off the left side of the screen and go over here but you want this to be on the right you'll have to switch these two so that it's on the right and then hit apply but I'm not gonna do that alright now the final step is if your monitors are switched like you have a big and a small like me and it's making the small one show this message that says this is your main monitor find your bigger one check this option and then once you finalize all your settings hit apply and you should be good to go I'm not gonna apply cuz I don't want to change my settings but you would hit apply okay and then you would be good to go thanks for watching subscribe rate comment backgrounds will be in the description to download hopefully if you're not on Windows 7 or you don't have some crazy program they won't change like mine so I'm sorry so again, subscribe, rate, comment, thanks for watching, see you next time.